this is Siren. One of my favorite games of all time. And I would say, without hesitation, a solid contender for the scariest game of all time. I've done a full playthrough of a pseudo remake of this game. But this is the original. Frankly, it's better. But I love them both. Gotta be relatively silent during cutscenes because subtitles oh, do not exist. Who is it? What are they doing? Uh, it's the middle of the night. What are you doing here in the middle of the night, Kyo? Yeah. This is none of your business. You should be home in bed. Who's there? Hmm? Who is it? Hey, you go snooping. Someone calls the cops on you. End up shot in the back somewhere in the woods. No one to blame but yourself, Keoya. What? Why? Oh, oh my God! It's He's coming! Ah! Now this being one of my favorite games, I know it fairly well, but I haven't played it in many years. So the stuff I know about it has sort of dwindled. Classic Silent Hill style camera change to let us know exactly where the key is. Classic uh, Silent Hill style controls, which is to say tank controls. This area looks pretty safe. Um, I do not want to shout at the cop as he still blind fires at me from God knows where. There is a lot of flavor text in this game. Oh, that's a uh, archive item. Cop's a terrible shot. Spoke too soon. But he's just hanging out of the doorway. Sort of blind firing, wasting ammo. <laughs> I'm barely moving here. Apparently, we're not allowed to open this already open locker. Yo, you knows instinctively there's nothing good in there. This is bad news. Do I have any sort of attack? I have a first person view. And I squeeze past him now. Excuse me, officer. Damn it. Point blank shot to the head. Execution style. As I messed around inside the little cabin for too long. I am probably going to rack up a lot of deaths. This game is very convoluted. It can be extremely difficult. And you're really not even intended to do anything to completion on your first attempt. That's how brutal this game is. And it has a little gimmick to it. If you're familiar with the Siren series, which lasted three extremely weird niche games, then 
You sort of know what that gimmick is. If I tried to explain it, you wouldn't even believe me. I would take quite a bit of gameplay before we even got to the point where what I'm talking about is relevant, so... I'm gonna hide in the John. I cannot. I'm here to have car keys, but obviously you gotta investigate thoroughly. There. Etsuo Ishida's police ID. The only point of escape towards the cop that can only hit you if he points the gun like directly inside your mouth. <laughs> then you're in trouble. Otherwise, he ain't hitting anything. Our key on the car door. Then we need to do another command to get inside the truck. Ignition, blow the steering wheel, another command for that. I don't think he can quite hit me inside the car, but he's trying. He couldn't hit me outside the car, what am I worried about? Yo, he is a terrible driver, but looks like he's still probably going to make it to safety. Good for him. All right, he's going to spend an hour in that car. Excuse me? Are you okay? Hello? Oh, oh my god! What do I do? Call an ambulance? Oh! An earthquake! He can shoot. <laughs> Second I step out of the car. Yeah, we're probably going to want to save. Very, very often. Super easy to lose progress. Turns out Kiyoya was bulletproof all along. Blood! <laughs> you just connected with me, didn't you? You can see visions. Relax. Although I guess that's easier said than done. Are you alright? I, I, I just got shot, but... I understand. Listen, you have to come with me. You're not safe here. Follow me. Character facial animations were a big selling point of this game, weirdly enough. Did not exactly age to perfection. But they are interesting and in a lot of ways enhance the disturbing the nature of the game. Is now coursing through your veins. In place of all the blood you lost. You have the water to thank for your recovery. I know you're still shaky, but you will be better soon. I'm so relieved. It was any more. Anyway, we must hurry now. 
kind of important what I talked Close over there. Eyes. Taking a bath in the red water. And look Replaced our blood in your thoughts. with good stuff. That is keeping us alive. We're on a magical IV drip. Okay, L2 Wait. to sight jack. Where do you think well, this static is definitely not, not going to be good for the stream. What can you do? So that is not a character looking at us. Let's see. Seems like you can't do shortcuts. But you could in... Siren Blood Curse. You gotta actually tune in to your target. So you get a sense for what's going on. There you go. Person you want to jack to <laughs> is easy to take out of context. Is um, at a specific point on your analog stick. Relax and look for me. I found you. you. Get out of here now. What else do you want from me? Not that. Do you see yourself? Yeah. That's you, from my point of view. Did you feel anything else? They are no longer human. Be careful. It will be a while until you can move freely. Please, follow me. <laughs> we wouldn't have gotten very far if we didn't know how to move yet. But the whole sight jacking thing is the main gimmick of the game. And it is what makes the game so scary. Wait here. Come over when I call you. I'm concentrating on our surroundings, so I can't watch over you the whole time. Eventually, you'll be able to feel me calling you. You talk far too slowly, Hisako. There's your sight jack. Is that her? That sounded like come here. Problem is I didn't get a good sense for which way she went. Now I'm getting chased by a Shibito. <laughs> Fine, Shibito early can come down here. Forget about Hisako. Left us to die. Okay. I think this is the one that chased me. This is by the same developer as uh, Silent Hill, but it's very, very different, despite also being a survival horror game. It's primarily a stealth game. A scary-ass stealth game. Yeah, I knew he was waiting at the steps to choke me. Stop choking me, sir. Wow, he's fast with that choke. Yeah, this reminds me of the first time I rented this game back in 2004. Yo, he is never going to catch his breath. He's just going to keep panting the entire level. A bit stressful to be in a zombie apocalypse. No. There is some kind of stamina meter. The game never tells you about, and every character has a different amount of stamina that they can run 
ore before they get exhausted like this. Keep down or we'll get through this. Crouch walking speed is realistically snail-like. This is seriously the fastest we can go. She went up the street around the bus station. Oh, the sniper was up that ladder. The crossing the street was a death sentence. Anything in the bus station? Any more archive items? I guarantee there are archive items in this level. Will you pull me up? Everything is so hard to find. Pulling people up is up. As difficult as it was in Blood Curse. Yeah. It did not improve that. An entire console generation later. What do you think? That she's here? <laughs> and she's joined me. At least the animation is nice and quick. Start button to display what now? A character and my archive items. And there's whole stories about all of them. They're a lot to go through, but they're pretty cool. Yes, these go will be lost forever if we take two extra steps. Also, what do we care about Isago? I guess she's teaching us how to sight jack, which clearly I need more information on the subject. I'm not very good at it. Professor, what is this place? Where are we? I just don't get it. What's going on? I told you to wait in the car. But, but what's happening? What is this? Why is this happening? This is exactly why I told you not to come. Professor, we need to find the villagers. They must be panicking. <sighs> Please shut up. <sighs> what, what is this? <sighs> Oh my god! From now on, you will do exactly as I tell you. What? Until I call you, keep your eyes closed and stay still. Do you understand? Oh. Professor, is that, is that a real gun? Okay, come on. Uh, uh, okay. Uh. Professor Pax Heat for some reason. Good day for it. Automatic archive item. Love to see those. Those are the ones that I'm best at getting. Until we get to the point of the game where even progressing through the story normally becomes so obtuse that I'm not going to be able to figure so it out. I'm supposed to concentrate and... Listen to your voice. Oh, um, I wouldn't listen to me much longer. Oh, I'm about to get shot to death. <laughs> Not the best leader, nor am I the best with a gun. Now, what they haven't given me a tutorial on is how to use the gun that I'm holding. If I get in trouble, I'm going to stay in trouble. Let's see. There we go. 
That's how you ready the gun. I don't know which button fires the gun. That might be important at some point. Amber wants me to pay attention to this. A chained pipe that I cannot move without a key. Oh, we learned information. So, I'm supposed to concentrate and listen to your voice. Just join me. Here, how are you doing? Going on a walk. Turned away, but it'll turn back too fast, and then we're good. Big whiff. Love to see it. Let's double check. He's not looking at anything. Well, then we could break that chain with teamwork. Not how we solve problems around here. Someone spotted me and they're probably going to come visit. They don't know what they're in for. For me, missing shots with this gun. Probably dying anyway. We've got a friend. <laughs> One zombie down. I did not successfully reload because I moved first. Okay, dead zombie, sniper. What the sniper's looking at, but one patrolman's dead, another is up there. <laughs> Feels like the sniper should not be able to see me over here. The patrolman I don't really care about. Well, I get to look around a little bit. Play the game briefly. Before it murders me again. I don't have a strong indication of where I even want to go. Remember a map of some sort. There it is. We can see the exit. Way up ahead of us. We should be right around the square building at the top of the map, but not the top left corner yet. I think we're approaching the top left corner. Hyper. Out of line of sight. Don't quite recognize where this shed might be. Having an ally sometimes gives you jump scares while you're sight jacking. You spy yourself. Seeing yourself all sight jacking is normally a death sentence. We're going to want to start to go. Came up, we landed here. Pretty sure we want to go that way. First, might as well check here. Maybe it's easier. Get there over here. Or maybe that was the exit. <laughs> I'll take it. I think I didn't get too explorative there. I 
Hey, suit is back. It's not a dream. Am I going crazy? Okay. What do we do now? All we can do is wait here until Makino and the others arrive. Oh, are you... Is this a place of worship? I mean, it kind of looks like one, but it's different from the other ones I've seen. It may seem strange, but this is our faith. Oh. Well, I don't know anything about religion. It must be a sign. Outsiders like you don't normally possess the sight. Right. I'll go and see what's going on. You've been welcomed with uh, open arms into the Church of Scary. They even gave us a book, Chaos at the End of Time. And we clearly have plenty of time to just sit around and read it. Ultimately, though, it's very unclear whether or not the characters in the game are even aware of the archive items that they're finding. They seem to be canonically just for the player. Which gets into how weird the story of this game ultimately ends up. Where is everyone? What's this? Or church folk. We found a nun and a priest going to the same place as the professor, who Karuari. I have no earthly idea how real any of these places are. I know when they made Siren Blood Curse, they took over 50,000 actual pictures for the sake of reference. So it's not actually based on a real place. That's a problem. You see what happens once you start getting choked. You die. But yeah, everything in the remake, quote unquote, is based on real stuff. But the locations have been changed. Back the innocent. We're not allowed to move very fast. That's a gun. I'm not going to make it very far. <laughs> that is reconnaissance for you. What I'm going to have to do is stay down by the river. Like Jack, so I don't get spotted in the first place so that I don't have to run directly in front of gunmen. I did find uh, trial and error tactics to be by far the most effective. The direction in which you aim in order to find a sidejack target is very often the direction in which they are relative to your character. Kind of a mind fuck. Hey. Somewhere. I don't have a flashlight with this character. Worshipping the phone. Why well, he gave up on me. Gunman's still in the middle of the street. No one else strongly indicating what they're up to. Pretty sure the Reaper here won't bother us unless we bother him first. Bridge is out. Very Silent Hill, that. A lot of people hanging around right around the exit. Once the gunman turns away, I'm probably gonna have to go. Oh, that is the gunman. Person watching the gunman's back. There we go. How about this path? 
Our exit plan is... Yeah, pretty much the same one as the first time we were here. Pass these two buildings up the shed. Then freedom. The bridge doesn't matter. Really, this is just a retread of the sightjacking tutorial. With different zombie placement and no AI partner. <sighs> there. The Reaper. Do not run past the Reaper. Do fear the Reaper. Could run away, and the climb up animations are pretty quick, but probably not quick enough. I wonder if there's anyone up the tower. Maybe I should go up the tower. Yeah, there's no sniper up the tower this time. Wait. Yeah, that's someone up the tower. <laughs> Never mind, I should not go up the tower. Tower will only cause me trouble in the long run. Oh, it's a good thing I died so many times on the tutorial. Because I know the path through here pretty well. I have played Hitman 2 Silent Assassin. Long, long ago. I really liked the Hitman series. The original one. Although, honestly, Hitman 2 Silent Assassin was the only one I really played. To completion. I tried my hand at the others, but I lost all the muscle memory. And they were too frustrating to get back into. But I do intend to play a little bit of Hitman Contracts at some point. Because that's like the manhunt of the series. It's very dark and violent. The dog dies in this game. Hey, hey, this place is messed up. Let's just go to the church together and, and then think about what to do. The dog's already dead anyway. I, I, I'm sorry, but we have to. Up that dog. Rip to shreds. Dogs honestly don't fare especially well in the Siren series. But they are indicative of a running thing throughout both of the original games. Are you okay? Can't you walk a bit more slowly? I'm losing you. Uh, what do you mean? I can't see unless I use my chair up. Oh. Are you... Your eyes... Miyako, you still have more to do. You know that we can't proceed without you. <laughs> Won't be long before someone takes a trip to the other side, then. The other side? It looks like you've been taking good care of my sister. Thanks for that. Your sister? <laughs> hey! Let's go! Are already talking about the other side. I guess it's sort of Silent Hill esque with the multiple versions of the same place. Sort of. It's much more complicated than that. Uh, we just had an object that will act as a weapon. Apparently, we threw it aside. Look out, Miyako's brother, real easy. Yeah, Miyako is blind. And she needs to stay very close to us in order to not get lost. And Miyako is, for some reason, the only character who recurs yeah. in the remake of this game. When they remade it, they changed every single character except Miyako. 
but they never state in the sequel, the remake sort of thing that exists, that she actually is blind. I honestly believe that that version of Miyako is not blind. They don't say it, it ain't canon. There's Miyako's vision. <laughs> Black screen. person we were able to spot very very distracted with work definitely a scarecrow gotta love the soundtrack to this game very disorienting and disturbing looking like a weapon Boy, does it ever ruin your controls when you set foot in this weird camera angle. Another thing about this game is that they basically never um, have the characters do anything automatically. Which is another thing that is sort of a burden. You want anything done, you, the player, have to do it. Yeah. Pretty sure I left Miyako back here. I have a terrible sense of direction, and this game really does not uh, help you with that either. Hurry up and lead the way. Can't go too fast. We're a little bit faster than Miyako, and yep. she gets too far out of reach. He goes blind. Uh -huh. I seem to recall there even being a mechanic where you actually have to like turn back and look at her so that she can get her bearings every so often. I can't see. Look at me properly. Yep, there it is. Doesn't see herself often enough. He is just gone, as far as she knows. No ontological inertia for Miyako. Okay, there's the hammer man. I don't think we have stealth kills in this game. The remake added stealth kills, because... The remake was... Much more action-oriented. And some have said Americanized. In fact, the developers said that they were going for an Americanized version. Let's, let's break free of this. Love our way out of here. Suit is pretty good at stun-locking in it, even with this garbage weapon. Yeah, really far back. Walking backwards is ridiculously slow, I'm learning. Oh, can we... We're not allowed to steal weapons in this game. If I'm not mistaken, that was added in the second game. Try not to stand near the corpse, Miyako. That's gonna look bad. An officer Doofy shows back up. Even though he's more of a shoot first, ask questions later sort of guy anyway. Not a big fan of those gunshots. Thankfully, they're extremely inaccurate. Gonna have to reload eventually. Okay. Maybe not. Maybe not till after I'm dead. Thankfully, he's not going for Miyako at all. And I survived the one-shot allotment that I have. That ground floor... He's reloading. This should be plenty... It was not plenty of time at all. There was another one. 
I also didn't have a strong indication of where I was even trying to go. Which is a recurring error that I'm making. Forbidden Siren 2. Fantastic game. It lives in the shadow of its predecessor. Yeah. I don't like what I'm hearing. There we go. You actually did give me a bit of a jump scare appearing on screen so suddenly. Now let's find out exactly where the Iron Gate is. We've climbed up to that, like, white spot. Just ahead of the entrance. I believe the Iron Gate is the black spot. Yeah. Forbidden Siren 2 had a very limited fan base because it never came out in America. And also the first game was a bit of a flop. So not many people followed to the second. Yeah. These days they've both both gotten a much more fair assessment. And I mostly feel like people prefer the first game. I certainly prefer the first game. By a huge margin. And I love the second game. Walk slowly, will you? And then there's Blood Curse. I love Blood Curse. It's not even in the same league as Siren 1 and 2. Who plays a lot better? Why does she keep leaving? Where are you going? Oh, <laughs> you're outsmarting me. That's what's going on there. Open lock. Even if we had a key, we couldn't do it. That just pisses me off. I have to take out my frustration on the door. Yeah, the second was meant to be way less, um... Way more, we'll say, player friendly. Virtually no game in history has been less player friendly than Forbidden Siren 1, so that's not hard to do. But they did it. Good for them. Ultimately, though, it seems like the limited fan base that really glommed onto Forbidden Siren. <laughs> They wanted it to be player unfriendly. I know I certainly did. I was trying to help uh, Mieko up the ledge, but she ran away and walked up the casual incline much more easily than I could have possibly done by dragging her up. Now, maybe we should keep her away for now, because I'm about to get in a fight. With the clumsy Shibito. Um, I feel like I'm going to get uh, not the first blow here. It doesn't matter, because I stun lock very easily. There we go. And now she's very far away. Walk slowly, baby. I hear her. God, she got far away. Hurry up and lead the way. She has slower animations than us, and she has to stop and slowly descend every time we hit of these inclines or declines for that matter <laughs> this looks good
hey, a nice bridge. That bridge is not in Siren Blood Curse, where this level appears exactly in the same way. Okay, we're not picking the lock this time. Do we want to be at the church? Where's the church relative to our goal? So we've marked the sturdy lock on our map, which is good. There's the church we want to go to, Tabori, which is just up ahead with surely no snipers. You always have to investigate something before you're allowed to actually, like, if it has an item in it or something, you can't take that item until you investigate the thing first. Someone is looking in our direction. You. You're not a problem. You're my friend. I think we're golden. Look at me. Ultimately, Miyako escorts aren't that bad. That light made me think it was a flashlight for a second. Aha! No. I think she's scared about the fight we're in and not that she's getting attacked. But if she's getting attacked, we're dead. Oh, never mind, we're dead anyway. No. No. I mentioned this game has no checkpoints, right? <laughs> Got a few. But they're very rare, and I don't think there's one here. There is! Thing of Beauty. If I can implore Tommy Salami before he gets too frustrated to keep watching, you might want to check my YouTube channel, wherein I played the entire remake of this game, Siren Blood Curse and got all the archive items and read through them all and even did all the, like, the metagame stuff that is like on now defunct websites and shit. I tore Siren Blood Curse apart. Very much unlike what I'm doing with original Siren. A much, much more difficult game. The only reason I didn't do the same with the original Siren is because a Let's Player called Super Great Friend did it years before I could. Yeah, the remake is a lot easier, but it's also very, very, very different. So it's a completely different experience. A lot of people were turned off. A lot of original fans were turned off by the fact that it was a remake. But I think it is, as a huge fan of the series, I say it is well worth exploring still. Because it is still unique and interesting and awesome. Despite being a remake. Freedom. Precious, precious freedom. Yes, uh, I will save that. Thank you for asking. It is youtube.com slash fiendly. Friendly without the R. Akira Shimura is here. Someone we've never heard of before, but arguably the best character in this game or any game. something in the air. He knows something's a little off about whatever this town is. I almost called it Chiokawa. Shotgun grandpa's here. Clean up the streets. 
Anuda, thank you. Maybe I should watch my Let's Play as well. <laughs> oh, someone's got a problem? Not for much longer. Who else wants some? That one was a sniper. I can see the sniper, but... Am I gonna be a better shot? Yes. But, <laughs> I'm getting choked. Hitting enemies from point blank is pretty difficult because it takes so long to arm your gun. Yeah, the sniper controls, you're not gonna believe this, very complicated and difficult. Because they all like snap back to a central location and you're dealing with very twitchy analog controls. Interesting, we were earlier talking about whether or not um, Forbidden Siren 2 was better than this game. Which is the criteria to be the best Siren game. Because honestly, Blood Curse is not in the running. I love Blood Curse. In a world where the other Forbidden Siren games did not exist, Blood Curse would be one of the best games of all time. But compared to its predecessors, Blood Curse is... Not as good. Just objectively not as good. Whereas Forbidden Siren 2... There's a case to be made that it's the best one. If anyone has that opinion, it is 100% valid. I'm a much bigger fan of the first, personally. My sights. Got him in the knee. Apparently doesn't count. Ready to reload. What's this junk? Shinto altar. It was very offensive to say this was junk. Whoops. What's our goal here? I want to go to Gojaku Peak. I hear a giant lives in there. Okay, our arrows are... asked. Like this... Custodian shack over here. So we've gone down the pathway. When I rented this game, I got much further than this. Then I realized that, damn it. That's bad news, but. We're not dead yet. No escort, so we get to actually run. What's the snipers? Okay, there's another sniper. And run is a bit of an exaggeration for Akira here. <laughs> oh, he was right in front of me the whole time. So I need to kill the ground level person and then counter snipe that sniper and then we're good. Yeah, this game had its own helpline set up by Sony. This was a second party Sony game. They were responsible for making it feasible for players to beat it. They decided to cash in on that responsibility. I have to assume that was part of the licensing deal when they agreed to publish the game. It's 
There's always been someone directly below me every time I drop down. I don't know what they're doing there. I guess I shouldn't drop down here. Maybe over here. Action, Grandpa. Get the wire cutters. No route number three has another sniper. And there's no way they would send us towards the sniper in order to help us beat the sniper. Twitch to set off the siren. Theory that could be useful. Here's number three. There's a sniper down that way. So what other options do we have? A three right by the siren shack. Other side of the siren shack. There's a different passageway. Oh, hi. Another cool feature about the remake is executions. Most of the weapons in the game have unique execution animations. Which is very much not in keeping with the style of Siren, but I love it anyway. Here we go. What have we here? Stone marker. Blasted hole in the wall. Why did you let me open this gate at all? Damn you, obtuse game. Seems like opening the gate was like part of solving a puzzle that is probably optional or part of a secondary objective. I don't like that very... Oh, it's you. And you. Whoops. I need to reload because all our friends are coming back. Yeah, this game is shockingly brutal in the fact that, on top of everything, the enemies just straight up can't die. Not only do you have to prove that you can kill them, you have to prove that you can kill them over and over again, whack-a-mole style. Forever. So where is this damn trolley? I've been up and down all the tracks. And they all either have snipers, locked gates. Here's this sniper. Oh, he turns around. He's, he's guarding the trolley. Okay, we don't have time to crawl over there. Here is slow enough already. Gotcha. This thing's tied up. Can't have that anymore. Give it a push. <laughs> this should somehow gain enough momentum by gain enough momentum by rolling uphill that it kills the sniper that's in our way. we run for a long time. The enemies out in the open area probably respawned. We're gonna have to brave them again. Oh, it looks like I've killed them recently enough. Yeah, the story of Siren is far and away the main selling point and I love it so much. 
Ooh, prize. We'll have this prize. It's a good thing I got that prize. Or I wasn't going to get out of here. Hmm. Seems like I should be just about out of here, right? Now, yeah, at this point, there's a turn. Here. Here's the gate. Use the key. Good stuff. Nothing is easy, ever. And if you miss any slight detail, you're dead again. Any zombies around? Zombie spotted me. But... For some reason, it's just sort of hanging out. <laughs> Giving me plenty of time to run away. I think this is where I want to go, so I'm pretty sure we're out of here. Oh, we were allowed to push over the marker? I didn't even think to attempt to see if there were any context-sensitive actions there. Because I am foolish. It's been too long since I played this game, so I'm going to make a lot of mistakes like that. Tomoko! Have you Tomoko! seen Tomoko? T Tomoko! Tomoko! She's... She's not with you. Moko's MIA. I have no idea what that means, but it's not good considering the circumstances. Another new character. We're safe here. Yeah, I guess it's a character we've seen before many hours later. Just disappearing. Look. Sounds like some kind of an animal. That's a weird guess, kid. What are you waiting for? So, the timeline, the, the plot of this game is much, much more complicated than I could ever hope to explain. Oh god, a sniper got me. I can back away slowly. What are you waiting for? Oh, the exit is right next to us. That's a good sign. Yeah, we're not supposed to go to the exit from here. Just by walking 10 feet up that trail because of the sniper. At times. So the plot of this game is so complicated that the Let's Player's super great friend, when he covered this game, ended the series on a two and a half hour video, setting the events of the game in order and explaining what they meant relative to one another. And that was the bare minimum required to make the story fully elucidated. I think we just gotta run past the sniper. Well, 
that's the way we're not going. The direct route. The next best route is... Not the broken bridge. That would be great. I'm going to guess that's a big nope. You take this path all the way to the end. There's a bunch of squiggly paths that lead to a dead end. It looks like you could drop down from the dead end to the correct path. And if I had to guess, archive items up there. And yes, Quentin Tarantino is actually a valid comparison because... This game's story is told extremely out of order. And the out of order nature is like a part of the plot. Oh, she got one shot. Good stuff. I guess I just got to run for it. Storytelling is actively disjointed so as to make it even more complicated than it needs to be. What are you waiting for? And it needs to be very, very complicated. By nature of what it's doing and saying in the first place. So one sniper. Two sniper. Come on, Tomoko. Like you want to get shot here. Get in the car, sure. I'm an action hero. Start engine. Engine won't start. Huggle switch. Nothing happened. This thing needs a jump. What do we think? I want to say that somehow is actually the solution. I open the trunk. I'm getting shot. No. I'm just going to spoil it. We've seen a lot of cars in this game. There's no driving in this game. The second game, however, maybe a little bit of driving. They were up near here. Well, actually up near the branching path, which leads to the fertility shrine. Can't say I expected that. There's a guy directly in front of me, and I am not legally permitted to defend myself because I haven't found any weapons yet. How are we ever going to get around before he makes his patrol back whilst crawling like this? Would have got to crawl. Damn it. See, it took too long. Oh, hey, a shrine. Hey! Just a gargantuan pelvis. That's a good sign. Take him out, Tomoko. You can do it. Oh, boy. So, crawling, you go way too slow to get past. What are you waiting for? Know that now. That means we just gotta sort of gun it. Right up the furthest path. Chad loves a gargantuan pelvis. Good to know. I'll work that into future fan service. 
Damn it. To probably defend my uh, intrepid ally a little better this time. What are you waiting for? This is a major, like, pass the controller sort of game. And honestly, when you're not streaming it, it's very, very, uh, tense. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna make this the last level that we're gonna check out during this attempt, but this game has a weird addictive quality to it. I would be surprised if I did not come back to it sometime in the near future. Not only did they remake this game after only two games, the remake was Four years after the original release, I think. 2008, when the original was 2004, yeah. So, like, they immediately lost faith in this original game. And I mean, there's a good reason for it. This game did not do numbers. So they were like, we'll sell out make a version of this game that's super cheesy and ridiculous and appeals to Americans. The richest audience in the world. That's exactly what the remake is. And I love it. Unapologetically. I don't like that. Oh my god, how about we uh make a bit of a run for it? What say you? Worked right the last time I tried. Uh oh. Uh, more Shibito up here. I can hear them disturbingly clearly. There's the small shrine. I don't like this camera angle one bit, because it is preventing me from seeing this. You know, let's just see if I can get Tomoko to do the thing. Tomoko, do the thing. Don't, don't do that thing. Go hide. They'll never find you. I'll lead them away. I really wish this beekeeper hadn't made it all the way up here with us. Things were going great. Lawlessly. There's a box set of this game? I know that um, I have the physical copy. With the physical manual, I hit a checkpoint. This is literally cheating, but I don't care. What are you doing? Stealing. Don't worry about it. I don't have a weapon, so I'm not allowed to strike. Or maybe I am. Yeah, I'll punch it in a cutscene. <laughs> I broke the fertility stone. A is now impotent, but he was a priest anyway, so it doesn't matter. There we go, bit of a hint in chat. Oh. Her bonus key. What's this? 
It's so rusted. What is this key for? Opening the shrine was optional. Finding the key was optional, but we were going to have to do it eventually because you do want to unlock secondary missions like that. Oh, well, the rock didn't do it. Damn you, the rock. Oh, you can drop down now. Someone in the future will finish the job and open that lock. For now, we can indeed drop down. That will get us around one enemy. Put us behind all the snipers. Gotta assume, yeah, there's there's a bad guy. Walk calmly past the bad guy. On this is the key. I want to know more about this box. Let's ring the bell. Ring the bell for service. You're kidding me. I was crawling. Uh oh, dead end. I'll have a chance to not make it a literal dead end. Oh, this is the broken bridge. If I get cornered, I'm screwed. There we go. This looks like the way out. camera going inside the character's face is an extra jump scare. It's so effective that I assume it was intentional. Okay, I don't like this one bit. Look for a second like I was going to get out of here without dying. <gasps> Cutscene safety! Wait, it was canonical! Canonically, we failed to save her. Oh, god damn it. Okay, somehow I'm still not dead. That's ridiculous. All my bumbling, <laughs> and off we go. Mission accomplished. Good god. Haven't you heard of Yamatsu Hegui? You mustn't drink the water. Wait, do you mean this is the underworld? Just wait here. Don't follow me this time. You'll put both of us in danger. Don't move an inch until I come back, okay? Interesting. I actually didn't remember the professor knowing, like, the legend of what's happening in Hanada. Continue to next loop. Perfect. That's the best possible stopping point. Because it's where I was going to stop anyway, but also, this is where loops start to happen. And loops are where the game gets uniquely evil. What's going to happen to Kay? It's me. I've come on behalf of the Kajiros. Thank you. It's been 27 years. I wish you the best of luck. I must be going now. I'm so scared. I just don't know. 
Don't worry. This time it will all work out. I've been observing everything for a long, long time. Yeah, that's what happened to Kay a significant period of time ago. And we're sometimes going to get those no signal screens because for some reason, this game loves changing resolution. And the Elgato does not love that. So, surprisingly, that has not shown up in the video very often. But it's showing up on my screen constantly. And now we get a Shiro cutscene. Not possible. It is the big story dump because we completed one loop. Moving on to the second. New character. Although we've apparently seen a cutscene from this character before. Probably pick up the flashlight. There we go. We're free. Hero the Doctor, shocked by something. What was he shocked by? We'll find out. And I return to Siren. So I think it's hooked me again. We might end up playing Siren until the point where it becomes impossible to advance. <laughs> there are hints in the instruction manual, as was alluded to in chat. There are the last like three or four pages of the instruction manual are just really incomprehensible sentences. And when you figure out what they're telling you, you can sort of reverse engineer what they meant all along. Because that's the siren way. Thanks for joining me in chat. I'm surprised so many people showed up, but uh, this this game has its fan base. And there's there's nothing like it in the world, like Siren. So if you enjoy it, you have to seek it out, because you're not going to get your fix anywhere else. And I'm happy to provide, however briefly and however sloppily. It's some low-tier gameplay. <laughs> 